I'm Johnny Morris, uh, I live in Perth originally, I stay in Glasgow at the moment. Um, I started playing rugby at Perthshire Rugby Club uh, when I was about five or six years old. Uh, I'm Johnny Ventisay, uh, I come from Glasgow. Freddie Douglas, I uh, play the back row uh, from Edinburgh and I used to play for Stu Mel. Uh, I'm Ewan McVie, I'm uh, second row, back row and I play at Edinburgh Rugby and Harry. <laughs> first started carrying rugby ball when I was about a toddler, two or three, going around looking at nurseries. So first I was actually in my back garden with my older brother. Yeah, I always remember playing with him, he's a few years older than me. My dad actually got me a rugby ball the day after I was born, so I think he wanted me to start rugby. I remember playing in snow because I started sort of winter time um, and I just absolutely loved it. Six Nations was obviously tough with the results we got, but it was a great experience to be part of it. Um, you're playing against like the best teams and best players from all, all other countries. My time during the Super Series, I played with Birmingham Bears, um, and I, I loved that opportunity to get some consistent game time with them, and I've definitely learned a lot over those two competitions. Six Nations and Super Series was a big step up, um, obviously from schoolboy stuff. Uh, my first involvement um, in the Super Series, I was with Watsonians, and obviously being with Glasgow A uh, this past sprint uh, has really helped me, surrounded by pros in that sort of environment. I was quite lucky in the fact I got to play all, all, all the games in the Super 6 for Futures, so I got like so much exposure against bigger people and like more skillful people, and then Six Nations with an even bigger jump up still. You had to be switched on, not all the moves where you had to be up like three phases after, so that really helped me improve mentally, yeah. I didn't get to play in the, the Championship last year, with the new future squad, but that's definitely made a massive improvement on the kind of cohesion between the boys. Coming into the Six Nations, I think that that showed, and I think probably puts us in quite a good spot coming into coming into the trophy. You cannot come in to defend until you're tagged in. On you go. Training's been going really well. Um, we've had we've had quite a large group in, but what that's allowed us to do is um, we've had 15 on 15 for pretty much all our sessions and the majority of those sessions. And we've got genuine competition for places, which for us as coaches is exactly what we want to see. We are very lucky that we train indoors at Ravenscraig, we've trained indoors at Orium, which obviously being based in Scotland does have its advantages, but part of it is around the kicking, um, so that we're not kicking balls off the roof all the time, so we can get a bit more specific work done. And then I suppose the other advantage of we actually get to get out and engage with the community in a different area. We've, we've trained in St Andrews in our first week, we're going to be down in Netherdale next week, so it's nice for us as a group to train in different environments. It's an absolute dream come true. Um, every time you get to play for Scotland, no matter what level it is, it's, a, it's an honour. So to get the opportunity to play for under 20s is is amazing. It's like every kid's dream to be honest, go play for Scotland, to play for under 20s is oh, it's mental, especially like home games at the Hive and stuff against France and England. 
singing the anthem was probably the best feelings of my life. Having missed it last year, it was really, really special getting to getting to play this year, um, and especially getting to, play, getting to play against England at home. You know, with friends and family watching at a full stadiums, a very, very special thing to be able to do. Uh, not many people my age get to do something like this. They love uh, more or less full time. Um, just playing with your mates week in, week out is really special. I think we can forget that sometimes. Obviously, training gets tough, but uh, you just got to look around you and remember that you are actually in a, a pretty lucky position. <laughs> Good, a lot of really good work, a lot of good stuff in amongst all that. I know some people annoyed by selling some of the others, but there's a lot of really good stuff in amongst it all we'll look back on that tomorrow. We had great support during the Six Nations. Um, the France and the England games was outstanding for us, the support that we had from the crowd. So that's something that we hope to see again in the summer. Um, getting to play different teams as well, like obviously we are used to playing Six Nations teams, but to play teams that are from around the world, different of rugby that are going to challenge us in different ways. For these young players at this stage of their development, it's, it's exactly what they need to then help them push on and go further into the game. There was a lot of disappointment around last year when we were in Kenya and not getting the job done. A few lessons learned, but I think for us, we know this is, this is really important for us as an under 20s, but actually for the whole of Scottish rugby, like we need to be back in the, the Junior World Championships at the top tier, so I suppose with that comes quite a bit of pressure, but I think all these players would rather be in that position to have to deal with the pressure on home soil than not have to deal with it. We've definitely got a lot to prove from the Six Nations. We want to show what we can do on the pitch, um, especially being at home gives us even more motivation uh, to make Scotland proud and win something on home soil. We've got a good opportunity here to, to put a mark down for this team especially for the coming year groups, we've got to give them a, an opportunity to try and play it in the championship in the next couple of years. It's hugely important that we all really lock in now and, and hopefully get that result at the end. I think the preparation we've put in, hopefully we can do ourselves and our family and friends proud with the results we give.